Monitor the operation of electrical, electronic and control panel. Power distribution on board. The power distribution on board ship needs to be supplied efficiently throughout the ship. A shipboard distribution system consists of different components for distribution for safety operation of the ship. They are the main bus bar. The main bus bar can be found inside the main switchboard. The supply is usually 440 volts, 60 hertz. The main bus bar has three heavy, thick bars of conductor, usually copper, running horizontally throughout the length of the main switchboard. Each of the conductors is insulated between each other and wherever it is supported or clamped to the switchboard. The main switchboard is the main power distribution center of the ship. Thus the main bus bars are contained within the switchboard feeding various shipboard auxiliaries. A ship may contain two or more generators connected to the main bus bar via the circuit breaker. From the main bus bar, the electrical power is supplied to various shipboard auxiliaries like pumps, blowers, compressors, etc. The distribution system can be divided into feeder side and the load side. The feeders are the generators and the loads are various shipboard auxiliary machineries. The load side is further divided into essential and non-essential services. Essential services are very critical auxiliaries which are directly affecting the safety of personnel, ship in terms of navigation and propulsion. They include supply to navigational aids like radars, communication equipment, navigational lights, and steering gear motors. These essential services may be supplied directly from the main switchboard or via sectional boards or distribution boards. Non-essential services are those that do not affect the safety of ship and personnel. For example, air conditioning compressors and fans are non-essential services as they don't affect the safety of the ship or personnel. Emergency switchboard. As the name indicates, it supplies to equipment and machinery that are essential during any emergency like fire, flooding, etc. During normal operation, power is supplied from the main generators to the main switchboard. The emergency switchboard gets its supply from the main switchboard. When the main generators fail, the main switchboard loses its supply and this causes the emergency generator to start automatically. Which will supply the emergency switchboard that is connected to various shipboard auxiliaries. Thus critical equipment and machinery, essential services, are supplied always to maintain the safety of the ship and personnel.